This is the symbol for an AND gate. The symbol for a NAND gate is based on this particular symbol here with the following alteration. A negation symbol or a NOT symbol is placed in this particular area here as follows. We have a NOT or negation symbol appearing there. This circuit is said to be NOT and and because of this here not an and and we take the n from the not and we take all of the and and we write down this nand that's where the name nand comes from not an and a nand gate has the same functionality as an and gate followed by a not gate i'm going to label this particular symbol here for a nand gate with A and B as the inputs and the output as an F. And down here I'm going to draw as carefully as I can the symbol for an AND gate. And I'm going to take the output of this AND gate and I'm going to put it to the input of a NOT gate. This is input A, this is input B, and the output from this particular circuit here, I'm going to show here at F. Now, the NAND symbol here, and this AND followed by a NOT, are one in the same from the viewpoint of their functionality. And what this means, whatever combination I choose here, and I'm going to put a 0 and a 0 here, now this is an AND gate and we must remember the only time we get a 1 at the output of an AND gate is if both inputs are a 1. Well here we can see the inputs are both 0. So at this particular point I'll get a 0. Now that's the output of the AND gate. Now of course this is a piece of wire. Consequently the input to the NOT gate will be a 0. Now we know a NOT gate will invert its input and its input is a 0 so the output here would be a 1. Now a NAND functionality would be the same. In other words if I was to put a 0 here and a 0 there the output at F would in fact be 1. This is an example of a combinational logic circuit. It's referred to as combinational because it has two gates working together in combination. We can see we have the AND gate followed by the NOT gate. Now this particular combinational circuit here has the same logic functionality of the NAND gate. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to represent this combinational logic circuit by reference to Boolean representations that we should already know about from the previous videos in this series. If we look at the output of the AND gate, that would be represented as A and B. Now of course this is the output from the AND gate and this acts as an input to the NOT gate. So what a NOT gate will do it will NOT whatever its input is. So we can say here that F will be the input to the NOT gate which is the A and B and all of that will actually be knotted. Having derived the Boolean expression for the combinational logic circuit, we can now say that the Boolean representation for a two-input NAND gate is as follows. It is A and B all knotted. Let's now refer to the truth table below. And we're going to look at all of the combinations for A and B. So I'll just quickly fill this in down here. We can know A and B can both be 0. A can be a 0 when B is a 1. And then finally we can say when they're both 1s. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to have a look at this column here. And we can see I've labelled that column A and B. And what we're really looking at is what will happen here for each of these combinations. So let's take the first combination here, 0, 0. 
which means at the input here we're going to have a zero and a zero. Now what we will have at this position, and we need to memorize what an AND gate actually does, remember it will only have a one when both inputs are a one, that will actually be a zero there. Now we could go through every other combination, but if you can't remember what an AND gate does, you need to refer back to it. So I'm now going to simply complete this as so there. Now this column that we're looking at here, that's the output from an AND gate. Now here you can see I've wrote A and B again, but what I'm now going to do, I'm going to put a bar across that lot there, because that's going to represent what we have here. So this is a zero, now that means that that zero is actually going in here to this NOT gate. And of course what a NOT gate will do is make this the opposite of a zero and when we have a two-state device obviously the opposite is a one. Now if I now continue down here we can see that the opposite of a zero is a one. This is a zero as well so the opposite of that is a one and then we finally have a one here and that would be knotted by the NOT gate to a zero. So this column here is in fact the output we would get from a NAND gate because this A and B knotted is this Boolean expression here. So for a two input NAND gate this is the logic symbol with the inputs A and B and the output F. This is the Boolean representation and this is the truth table.